Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to do a, a one week review of the stock market and just look at what happened this past week, um, see if there's some ideas that can help me trade a little bit better, um, and uh, in general just review this past week. Uh, so for most of the stock market, it was a pretty good week. Um, it ended up, um, there was a couple uh, companies that had some downtrends here. Um, you can see that uh, overall the big companies, Microsoft, actually Apple had a little bit of a downtrend this past week, which we can look at. Um, then you can see Amazon up quite significantly, Tesla up about 8%, extremely significantly. Um, CRM up quite a lot. Uh, Bunch of other technology companies up quite a bit um, that is basically because there was such a downtrend for the past month if you look at the downtrend for the month most things were down quite a bit um, so this past week was kind of a turnaround week in some ways uh, so it's an important week to look at uh, and study the market uh, so what I have here is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and just kind of a summary on in terms of MACD, uh, volume, and also the money flow. Um, so <coughs> in general, this week started off, uh, you can see uh, basically on Sunday here that the market kind of went up. And then about at 9 o'clock in the morning, it uh, started to drop. Um, actually, this is a different time zone, so it's not Eastern Standard Time. But uh, in general, you can see it started to drop uh, and then went down quite a bit right at the start of the week. Uh, so that's right into uh, heading into Monday here. And actually, Monday was uh, pretty flat to start with, uh, but Sunday, Sunday night was rather bad. So I think this first little blip here uh, on Sunday or f partly in of end of Friday should have given us the clue that there was going to be a positive uptake because it was basically a positive uptake. Uh, you can see the volume here is actually even pretty high on some of these some of these ticks, but that was actually a negative volume right there. But uh, you can see that quite a bit uh, positive move, movement up and then quite a long drop down. So you can see Monday was a holiday, so there basically was not much trading going on. Uh, but you can see a slight increase. Should give this a sign that the week was going to be positive. So there's a couple things that we could have seen. We could have seen this stuff uh, Sunday night. Uh, <coughs> uh, and then there's also the possibility to just see this stuff uh, all throughout Monday, uh, which looked a little, just slightly positive. Now... Um, so essentially what happened on Friday um, was that, you know, basically at 9 30, 9 o'clock, everything started to get better. Um, and then by about noon, things really started to tank. So I think that got a lot of people afraid. It got me personally afraid uh, for the following week. I was just like, wow, this is really going to drop. Uh, and then it was a long, into a long weekend. So basically that's maybe part of it. Um, just seeing the long weekend. Um, some of these lines just stops, stops uh, showing up some things. But basically here, uh, you can see the drop around 12, 12 noon uh, Eastern Standard Time, and then that showed up all the way to the end of the day, end of the trading day. So you can see by the end of the trading day, <coughs> excuse me, so you got Sunday. Sunday started up here, um, and then it's just kind of leveling off here. And then by after Sunday into Monday, late Monday night, um, 5 a.m. in the morning, you start to see 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, things started to warm up a little bit. And then by uh, Monday evening, 8 o'clock or so, things were pretty high and then they started to drop again. Um, so you can kind of see that on some of the other indicators. You can see that there's definitely money flow going into the market here. So if you see compare this you can see there's quite a lot of money flow all the way up into here and then some drop of the money flow and then quite a significant drop right in here so i think a lot of people got scared um this was tuesday so tuesday um actually wasn't such a great day um uh, so let's zoom in and look at Tuesday carefully because basically that could have been, uh, you know, you saw this big downtrend here and then another big downtrend. And by this time, you know, 10 o'clock in the day, you're thinking, what's going on? Is this just too low? Um, what, was the, what was the reason for the uh, comeback here? Let's just look at that in a little more detail on the other chart. 
Uh, so you can kind of see what happened on Tuesday. Um, basically, pre-market uh, things were starting to drop here, then came up again and then dropped. But right into the open, you can see 9 o'clock, we saw a pretty heavy, like compared to this uptrend and this uptrend, we're seeing a pretty far downtrend. Um, so on Tuesday, the sentiment was pretty negative, actually, uh, heading into the open. Um, so I'd say this whole series is really important to remember. Because remember, this is a long weekend we're coming after. Monday was off. Um, and then pretty serious drop. Right here, you see at 9.30, we zoom in. Right the open was a buy-in. So it's important to say that although there was um, a drop, the open itself was a buy-in. And then 931 came by 932 things were down again so i think that's partly just that the sentiment was so negative just to start with here and you can also see on the uh, macd if you look at here the macd was still pretty negative macd actually turned negative i mean it was negative for quite some time uh there was a couple positive spots in here uh, right in general, MACD was pretty negative. It stayed negative for this whole period. Um, so this was all totally possible uh, to get in on on a short. Most people were saying short. Um, and that dropped there. So you can also see on the money flow, um, there was kind of a change right in here. The money flow just got too low, essentially. Um, and then started to come back up again and then dropped and then even hit an even lower low here and then even a lower low down in here. Um, so you can see the money was basically flowing out. Now the average to range, you can see that we kind of picked up momentum going into this, right? You see starting around 9.30, average to range picked up to about three points or so uh, per minute. Um, which is quite a lot, quite a fast move um, and that's dropping both downwards and upwards and you can see that the candlesticks are both showing both directions here but primarily down um, wasn't until about 956 that the market started to pull up again um, and then this is still on we're still talking Tuesday here um, and then basically another fall right after that now what caused that right there and kind of see on the volume so we hit peak volume this is kind of the peak volume that we can have for the day um, and that was peaked out right at the early morning and you can kind of see that was peak right here so the positive volume couldn't get any positive or uh, it might be that just ran out of uh, energy there um, but later in the day there was more positive energy here and this should have told us basically signs for the rest of the week these three positive energies on the on the volume there so if i if i add another study here volume you can see what happened there so basically this is the other three volumes so you can see four five six all of them were pretty positive but especially this one especially this candle could have told us that uh Things might change quite a bit um, for the rest of the week. Uh, so you'll notice on the volume oscillator that this volume piece here is actually quite high. Now I'll load that up separately so we can see just that chart. Studies volume. So you can see that there was some spikes in volume in here and especially here and here. Um, on the positive side. So not so much on here, but there's other pieces of volume that came in here that were positive uh, amongst the negative volume. They kind of twisted it out, um, but it finally made pretty positive ground right in here somewhere. So there's basically four candles and two candles here, but then there's some other red candles that dropped this back down. But then by this time we had four in a row, five candles, a pretty solid volume. Uh, so basically, right, it probably should have been seen back, you can maybe see this from the MACD. So the MACD shows it up right here as a turnaround. 
and it actually starts to show a turnaround here. Now, if this MACD gets too much lower, you can already see that this is a pretty low MACD value of negative 5.6. And up in here, you can say 4 point something, right? So basically, you're not going to get too much lower of a MACD anyway. So it has to have some type of turnaround in that range. Now, it's typically, most of the rest of the turnarounds were in negative 4 land. Um, so you can see there was a couple of turnarounds here and then a possible turnaround here that was kind of not as significant. But these turnarounds, you know, it basically was pretty negative um, on Tuesday um, after this drop here. So, uh, so heading back to this other chart here, you can see that the low for the whole entire week was pretty much on Tuesday and that was after close it looks like or I'm not sure what time that was that maybe be uh let's see this was the low right here so that was about 8 p.m so it was quite a lot uh after after hours so on tuesday the market closed right around here uh and then it just leveled off and then just basically dropped around eight o'clock quite significantly so that's a pretty significant drop is an after hours drop um, but then the whole rest of the time it had recovered so that was the low, low for the week um, was on Tuesday night um, and then at that point a lot of people maybe just thought they could buy in on this and so now we're heading into Wednesday here so Wednesday um, was a pretty solid day um, it's starting at midnight here uh, you can see basically it just looked pretty good and then into early hours now after about seven o'clock again we had a drop um, that probably was from the effects of tuesday what we saw um, but by about 9 30 9 31 you can see right in here um, it was pretty low but the macd you can see what's going on with the macd right at 9 30 so uh, basically at 9 30 which is right here uh, MACD was kind of changing around you can see it was basically coming back up again and it was on an upward trend in general so this whole MACD was making pretty good progress um, so it was pretty easy to spot this uptrend from the MACD's perspective now on the volume maybe a little bit harder to see but you can see the first volume was quite positive here and in fact, the volume was going up. It just had a pretty big downtrend, but there's quite there's quite some evidence here that shows positive volume overall on this on this uh, positive side. So, and you can see here, basically, in the actual volume ticks, there was quite a lot of positive volume just prior to the open. So that pretty much convinced people that it was going to be a positive day on Wednesday. And in fact, it was. Now, when we got to around 9.48, um, the question there is that are we exhausted on the high land? So basically, if you look at this again, it's about four here on the minute chart. Anything more than that you're talking about a time a turnaround so typically these turnarounds happen at around one tick one and a half ticks or so so but basically at this time frame you can see basically it peaked right around here and then the MACD finally converged and switched over right around here at about 949 um, and there's probably some evidence that we have here. So this actually turned around ahead of time. So the volume, or the volume was actually getting worse before. So you can see a couple red ticks in here. Volume, which were quite high, it's starting to give us some early warning sign to follow by dropping in uh, the volume. And then suddenly you get a big red one here, followed by a heavier red, heavier red, heavier red. And then some positive volumes, but then a major red downturn right here, which really whapped out everything. And then a kind of a positive 
ups and then some downs here. So then we hit a low here. So this point here is pretty important. This is this right here is 1016. And at 1016, we should see another turnaround. And indeed we do. We see first we see the MACD. It was pretty low, uh, but it started to turn into some green candles here on the MACD. And you can see the actual crossing here. So that was pretty good and positive to suspect um, that there was going to be pretty positive turf um, from here to here. Um, now, on the money flow, again, we see pretty positive money flow all throughout this in into 930. So you could even say even back here before, if we would look to the money flow, that looks pretty positive into the market. Looks like we're going to have a positive day. Um, so this is again Wednesday. Uh, now, for the second half of the day, you can say that the money flow looks a little bit negative, perhaps setting down here, just leveling it down to a lower level, um, but still above the zero line. So you can see quite a bit of positive uh, money flow in general. Now, perhaps the worst part of the day was this part of the day right here, this downtrend uh, right at 1210. Um, now, we can kind of start to see some of that on the minute chart, it looks like you can see if you're judging it from here, you can say, you know, if you only had access to this data right here and not the front half, you could pretty much argue um, that this is going pretty far down right to there. That's the peak at this point, right? And you can say, well, you're pretty much looking at a downtrend from there. So you'd say, well, if we see any downtrend here, we would want to start shorting this and you're going to start shorting based to basically back in here and you can see there was some shorting going on there and some uptrends too but then it really got negative here so that that part was probably pretty predictable uh in this section here um and then this uptrend here you know once it got to be down here in negative two land you know it was is overall um so it's a little bit tricky to get this this one correct here, but this particular uptrend really started the rest of the uptrend, right? So you had this downtrend, and then this was really the start of it, the rest of the day being pretty positive. So, you know, it, it, at this point, we do start to cross, you know, we are crossing the zero line here, so most people would argue, certainly by this point, that it is an uptrend. So on this, on this standpoint, you know, we already had a crossing earlier um, of the MACD, and then we see that there's further sign, you know, a little bit of a pullback because obviously it's still negative on the MACD here, um, and then you get into a more positive territory by around 12.36 uh, p.m. So basically, this all looks good pretty positive and pretty easy to spot. And then again, you see another MACD crossing here, and then you see uh, some uh, candles changing there as well. So again, we're looking at Wednesday, all in here. Um, you know, by this time, you're looking at a pretty positive day. Then you looked at this, and then you saw the positive day here. We're thinking pretty positive day overall. Um, and this is Wednesday, so we already had Tuesday. Um, and we know that we're looking at pretty positive territory at this point. Um, and indeed, the MACD is pretty positive for the rest of the day um, and then until the close about. So by this time of the day, we start to see this channel being formed, which is basically like this. And of course, it doesn't look good on the downward side. This little downward leg kind of dropped the, dropped the downward channel a little bit. Uh, but we can see that we're basically channeling up on an upward trend. We break that channel somewhere in here. Um, this is at the end of the day on Wednesday, perhaps just after the close of the bell. So you can see at the bell closing, there was kind of a drop here um, and then it kind of stabilized. And really this channel should have been spotted earlier. You can see that there's a quite a big upward channel here. Um, and in fact, once we get past this point, we're talking about two channels, both on the upward side giving us a sign that there's going to be a pretty uptrend, perhaps even into the end of the week.
Now, bringing us out of this two channel zones, which I specified there, we're looking at basically Thursday, right? Nine, eight. So Thursday starts right around in here. This is Thursday midnight. Now, Thursday was a little bit more of a complicated day. You can see that uh, certainly this was a major downtrend that we had and a pretty significant uptrend um, and then a pretty major downtrend right here. So it's a little more complicated uh, trying to understand Thursday. So we'll try to spend a little more time on Thursday here. So certainly when we compare the overnight action of Thursday, we see this pretty major downtrend uh, overnight. Um, that should give us a warning sign uh, that there's going to be some turbulence. We saw this uptrend and now we see this pretty big downtrend. And I think that might have just scared some people here. We did see, you know, prior to that there was a pretty good uptrend and then a downtrend and then followed by another downtrend and then pretty much an uptrend heading into that so uh heading into the start of the day so seven o'clock in the morning you're looking at pretty much an uptrend for most of the day if we zoom in and look at the macd to that part we can look at the macd and see so you see the macd kind of going up here and then kind of going up after this downtrend here so that gives us pretty good idea by seven o'clock in the morning we're seeing a pretty good uptrend and then bam it's down so we see this downtrend downtrend a little bit of an uptrend pretty heavy downtrend eight o'clock at 8 30 in the morning and now we're looking at 8 30 and we're seeing downtrend downtrend nine o'clock downtrend now by this time we're seeing a pretty good downtrend uh, and then partly this MACD says it should be an uptrend here, but it's not. So that's a bug in the MACD. Um, but then there's probably volume there. So we can see volume shows positive in this section. So you see volume is pretty negative here. There's some blips of positive volume in there. So you can see there's quite a lot of positive volume here. So basically this was a pretty tough call to make. 9.36, 9.30. You know, you're looking at, to make the positive turn here, you're not even looking at getting involved. You know, it, it's still pretty negative, 935. And then you start to see this turnaround right in this range. So this is a pretty important time right in here, right? So we're looking at basically what happened, right? So we see negative, negative, negative. Now, volume turns positive right here. Right, so you see volumes positive, volumes positive, volumes positive. You start to see three candles in a row, positive volume, and then you see a sudden negative volume, and then a buy in based on these. Right, these three candles maybe changed the whole Thursday and Friday. Um, you know, Friday was pretty positive, but uh, you can see there's still some negative activity on this candle. We had a downtrend and an uptrend. Um, but in general closing right around here. So I can change this to regular candle so you can see exactly what happened. But now on the regular candles, you see that basically it still looks pretty positive in here. Um, and it just it's just these two candles were positive right in here. Um, uh, so believe it or not, this Thursday stuff is really important. Um, it's just when we look back at what happened here, um, this downtrend, uh, you know, was super important to making Friday look really good. So a couple key points here is the MACD basically is totally positive for most of this, right? So we know that if we're going to have any shorts, this is going to be a quick short here. You know, basically there's going to be a quick short there, right? Maybe a quick short in here and some other. Now, the best shorting opportunities start to be when you get back down into here, right? So now we're already negative on the MACD. We got this big channel heading down here and we know that basically it's bigger time short. When we see a crossing here, we know this is going to be a much serious, more serious short. Um, and... We should be able to see that some on the volume. So you can see the volume was kind of positive here, but it's certainly not up in this range, which it was. 
starting to head down. All this volume is negative, uh, and that was a negative sign. Uh, and then we see basically another negative sign here, um, right there. So then by this time, by down here, you're just saying this is way too negative. This is ne most negative for the day. Uh, and we're basically not looking at anything lower than this on the volume chart. So you can almost get out of the trade right in this candle, which is probably a good candle to get out on. Now, interestingly, for the rest of Thursday after the noon, money flow just went right into the market. So we're looking at pretty steep money flow right into the market, right? And that, that to me... We don't really have the visibility of that, but we're already on a pretty low money flow here. We saw that it was pretty low. You might have just gotten out of the trade um, right in here somewhere or possibly even in this area here um, if you got lucky. Um, so this particular trade would say get out right at this level and the best you could have done would be in here, but that's not really realistic. Um, you could have grabbed it maybe um, at this point, it's possible to maybe get and see that candlestick here and see that you're going to be dropping and to short right on that candlestick. But other than that, it's pretty looking pretty long all the way up to around here uh, to this candle right in here. Uh, so this time, by this time in the market, 12.43, you know, we're looking at a pretty positive money flow we saw into the market. Um, so positive that you might even question it, right? So there's that aspect of it. And then once you get to the top here, you do start to see a little bit of the MACD trying to top off, right? So that could give you a warning sign that you got to get out of the trade pretty soon. So it does get pretty difficult to trade this uh, after around this time. So like 115, it's just pretty choppy the rest of the day, right? Stay at zero and you pretty much don't make money if it's staying right at the levels that it is. So from 115 to about here, you're basically two o'clock, you're talking about no change major. So, and that all kind of dropped. You can see it's all dropping down to zero here. It didn't even drop very fast. So there's maybe one trade here, maybe maybe one trade here that you could have gotten into. Uh, and it's possible you know, you're still looking at positive territory here. You're looking at negative, right? And then it's a pretty typical day. You know, when you see the ATR, average two range is kind of dropping off here in this whole area. So you're seeing not much change at all, right? So pretty much for the rest of the day, we're looking at uh, up into the close, right? And even the close ended a little bit positive. You can see right there, that tick was positive. Um, so that's looking positive right at the end of Thursday. So Thursday looked pretty good um, right at the end. So Friday, when you compare it to Thursday, uh, you're basically looking at a pretty much just uptrend, right? So how do we see that? You know, it's kind of hard to say. Um, you have to kind of look at maybe a higher time frame to see on the three minute. Um, let me change this to a three minute and see if we can see this a little bit better. But should show most of it above. So we can see that on the MACD, that's still Thursday, but Friday, you can see that Friday here, we're looking at positive MACD territory, positive MACD, positive, positive, positive. So mostly just positive MACD um, gives you the idea that it's basically gonna be a positive day um, in general, right? So there was some negative points in here, here and here and maybe in here you could say. So this drop off right at the end of the day was actually pretty significant just to think about. Um, you know, it does, it was at the high for the day uh, and then it dropped to uh, 10 points lower, I think. Yeah, 10, about 10 points lower. So that's pretty significant um, considering the whole day was pretty much up and then the end of the day was a drop um, 10 points. Uh, so I really like doing the review of the week. Uh, it was really helpful for me and hopefully it's helpful for you. Um, it just, you know, there's a lot of days that were important. I would say Thursday was super important. Um, and if you look back at the overall week, um, you can do kind of a, you have to do basically a 15 minute or five minute chart. Uh, and you can start to see every day kind of blip in on here. So these are all blips of volume, volume. So you have Friday, 
Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and then Monday was closed. So part of Sunday mattered maybe. But uh, anyway, so it basically gives you a basic idea for what's going on. Um, I was pretty uh, impressed with the uptrend this past week. Um, certainly from around in here, 9.7, uh, you can see that there was quite a big uptrend from that point on. Um, and actually Thursday kind of gave us a little bit of a scare, um, but it was a pretty far uptrend um, most of the week. And actually even here on 9.7, that was pretty pretty big. And I would say basically this should have given us uh, you know, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday should have given us a big hint um, because it was just so positive all day. Um, and that's pretty much the most important two aspects, I would say. So Wednesday being pretty positive um, was a big hint too. Uh, so on the daily chart, we're actually looking at quite a lot of positive territory to be land, right? So we had uh, basically today, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, and then kind of a mixed day on Tuesday. Um, and basically, so it was a pretty good week. We almost have a MACD crossing here. If we do see a MACD crossing on Monday or Tuesday, uh, it could be that even Wednesday might be positive. So we don't really know what's going to happen next week, but it looked like pretty positive this past week just with these three days here. And then the fourth day, you know, the Tuesday kind of being mixed. Um, so here you can clearly see that Tuesday was that down day. Um, and then Wednesday was up and then this was kind of like, you know, that was a pretty big downtrend. So Thursday was pretty interesting um, to look at and study. Maybe Thursday could even be a good gauge for what's going to happen maybe next week. Um, so if we were to combine Wednesday and Thursday, we kind of see that we'll see a little bit of an, we'll be see another bit of an up week next week with some mixed in there like Thursday kind of days. Maybe one or two of those. Anyway, if you like this video and you thought it was super interesting, please like it and subscribe. Let me know what kind of comments you have. This is basically for entertainment and educational purposes. Uh, if you have some suggestions, comments, I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say. Um, let me know uh, what your technical analysis is. Um, we're using basically the MACD, the Klinger, average to range, ATR, and the money flow, as well as volume here on the charts. It gets kind of busy um, showing all the details, but hopefully it's helpful for you. Um, it certainly is helpful uh, to look at a lot of different indicators, uh, cross indicator, um, and that helps me out a lot. I'm basically using Thinkorswim or E-Trade, so both of them I use. I have a free account with uh, Thinkorswim that I use their charting software with, uh, and then also E-Trade. So again, I hope you really enjoyed this study. Um, it's certainly very important to look at the week, try to understand what's going on, um, and I definitely like to bounce ideas off of others. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to talk with you more. See you.